Yep. Good morning. This morning, my voice is somehow out, but uh, I've promised to bring this class to us this morning. We'll not be spending much time. We just go straight to what we have for today. And uh, this is SLTs part five. If you've been following this class at this point, I know you should have gotten something to you know arm yourself with and to you know acquire that skills that you need to excel just like the program entails now we looked at something last this is about the if statement yeah this is the if statement where we are in our syntax we're passing uh, for this very scores we're passing or failing to, uh, uh, scores for students that are starting exams and if they are if they score look at what we have here if they if you double click here you still see the formula if what the score is greater or equals to 50 you know they passed x if the value is false if they didn't pass you know they actually failed so this is what we did now they were going to and i, I remember telling you something about these figures uh, let me get it deleted uh, uh, just to refresh our memory uh, if i was to compute uh, amounts like uh, you're doing some accounting works and uh, some amount of money you imputed you know in your worksheet you, you, you when you type 8000 error and you press enter you, you, you observe it's just written 8000 but i just told you that you could actually put the comma and then point zero zero uh, that's when that's how it is done not just eight thousand so what you do instead of doing it for every uh, figure that you type I remember telling us that you should just highlight all the cells that are going to be involved in your figures in your values then go come back to home under home you come under this number you see where you have your command style just click on it just by mere doing that you've already formatted all this stuff you've already formatted all this stuff now i can simply come and type five thousand five thousand let's say five thousand error you see that the command me put it there for you if i write five five i can write five thousand five hundred you see it written there you know it saves you a lot of time that's why we, uh, we always advise you to do something like that it saves you a whole lot of time all right that's just a brush up from the previous stuff we did so now there are instances of uh, permit me to copy all these things at ctrl c ctrl c and then let's paste it here ctrl v now this time around, under the remarks now, we are going to be passing. We are, we are going to be passing, um, like students scoring A, B, C, D, or, you know, F, in these very uh, scores. Now we are going to use the same if statement. Now before you use this if statement, you need to define your grading your grading style this is what we're going to look at today strictly we're going to define our grading style and let's take this my grading oh uh, let's say my school this is how we grade we grade in such way that students oh uh, sorry uh, any 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 candidate or let's say any student that score from uh, 100 to 70 or let's say 70 to 100 70 to 100 the person makes an A for instance and the person scores um, okay from 650 or let's say 60 to 69 yes the person scores B and then let's say 50 to 59 the person scores C uh, let it be that you are from a very tough school that is nothing like D, E, or F. So, what we're, we're saying that a person has scored from uh, the, mind you, this, is your, uh, this is your lower boundary 70, 60, and 50, and this is your upper boundary 100, 69, and 50. So, your lower boundary personal score 0 to 49. 
person gets an F. Now, when you're in such schools, you should be very, very serious with your study because anything from 0 to 49 is F. So, we are going to compute this now using the if statement. The same thing with what we did, I just want to take us to another different, you know, uh, angle of that very if statement. Now, now watch it. We are going to say equals to if. Open up your bracket. Sorry, <laughs> taking in the wrong place. Let's go straight here so that it will be very very clear. Yes, say if equals to if bracket open. This very C twenty is the person scores more than 70 or equals to 70 mind you are considering the lower boundary in this instance for today now if c20 score is greater than or equal to 70 you put your comma mind you in quotes the person should make and should score an a you close your quotes then you're done with that value if force value if force so in this instance if the person does not meet up with this criteria this very stuff then if the value is false you are not you tell excel to run another test on this very score run another syntax on this very score, which is what you bring back your if statement bring back your bracket open if this same c20 that we're comparing is greater or equal to 60 60 mind you 60 is the next uh, uh, uh what should i call it argument we we'll have here 60 your comma the value should return is what b and you close up your quotation mark you bring your comma again value if false again if the test does not go through you should also run a test and if statement if the same C20 is greater or equal to, you know, the, uh, what we have now, 50. Value, if true, the person should get what? A C. Value, if false, then we need to run the last test, which is what? If that very candidate has scored which is our C20 scored is greater than now or equal to what now? Zero. Greater than or equal to zero. Bring back your comma. The student should score what? F. You see? You've done this. Now, if you observe right from here, we've, we've like gotten like one, two, three, four, four brackets. And as one of the rules of calculation in Excel, if you open up four brackets, you need to close up the four brackets. So I'm going to close it up by putting a bracket one, two, three, four. And if you observe something, each of the brackets are having different colors. Different colors. So you have to observe. You must a color you have at the right hand side must you know uh, repeat itself at the you know the left hand side to show you that they have been sorted out. So I've, having done all this, you just press your enter. It's what has happened. You got a B here for this student. I've watched his course system is within this range, 60 to 69. That's a B. So come to this handler, the little boss we have here, and then you drag down or you double click, and you get the remaining values. You see, 45 is an F, which is 0 to 49. 49 two is an F, which is uh, for the upper limit of this very range. 49 is an F, and then you have your uh, 70, which is A. Now, if you want to test if your formula is actually right, you could as well come to 60. I want to get a C, so from 50 to 59, which I can give you 55 of a value. When I press enter, you see what it turns to C. So for teachers or uh, lecturers that really want to do a simple, you know, calculations using your uh, if statement, instead of using your calculate, instead of using your brain work or doing the rough work using the sheet of paper, you could as well employ 
you know the if statement and you could have all your work sorted out in a jiffy so this class will just be a very very short class but mind you we are going to continue here from next time we are taking this bit by bit and please i had I, I i i advise that you follow this class something huge is coming out of these lessons make sure if you have not viewed the part one part two part three and part four go back and view them because something huge is coming out of all these classes and uh i bet you trust me when i say something trust me it's going to actually you are going to get value for this now we we'll have our YouTube channel, Barrys the Resources. Right now, we are streaming live on our Facebook page, and this streamed uh, live broadcast is going to be available after here for you to view over and over. And also, a couple of these will be uploaded in our YouTube channel subsequently, so you can still go to our YouTube channel, like our page, and you know, and uh, and and make sure you turn on our notification button. So that anytime the videos are up and running, you could be one of the first people to lay hands on them. I remember our colleagues, and I'm glad that you're with me this morning. Same time, uh, maybe some other time, I'm going to re-communicate to you guys when we are going to have another class. We are going to build up on this, and it will be a very, very great time to have you again. Thank you so much. This is coming to you, Courtesy of Barai City Resources. Uh, your area view into the world of ICT. Thank you very much.